All right, so I'm here at the Hudson's Bay store here in downtown Montreal. One of the largest stores, actually the largest store here in Montreal. And it used to be the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Morgan's apartment store up until 1972. Trying to rush through here because I do not want to be spotted. And I've been to this store before. It's very nice. It's very quiet. And it has eight floors here, but the last two have closed. And I'm doing this not just because I love department stores and exploring them, but a, a viewer that watches my channel actually wanted me to take a look at it myself. And uh, don't think I'll explore all of it. Maybe maybe visit some of the floors that kind of stand out to me. There's the entrance to McGill Metro Station. That's Union Avenue, and uh, I'm here on the north side of the store. And up there would be a uh, Maison Boulevard. This is the Maisonet Boulevard. That's where the subway runs underneath. Look at that. The old logo back in uh, in Toronto, our Young and Queen location, the flagship store. Used to have these right, right up there, the old logo. And there it is. And this here is Union Avenue. And up ahead is the uh, Eaton Center. And there was a logo up here. When I saw Google Street View, and then I noticed that it, they removed it. Anyway, I'm gonna head back inside and continue the video. Now, I did say before that the uh, seventh and eighth floors are closed up. Why? I'm gonna explain later on. The store is in quiet. So I'm going to head downstairs. I can find the down escalator here. Here are the elevators. It used to be Otis Touch sensitive. down here let me just pause this for a second all right so this is how you get downstairs wow the basement here is very quiet I'll take it to another underground shopping mall right there.
this here is McGill Metro Station. So I was here earlier today. This is one of the busiest stations here in the metro system and I hear a train about to leave the station, which is an MR73, and I can't see it. But either way, this station is very much connected to the store as you can see. And what's interesting is that we're right above these, uh, the metro tracks here. They go literally right underneath the store. So from the busyness to the quietness here at the Hudson's Bay. And it's Bay Days here, it's a big sale. And that's the uh, parking behind those doors. The Metro runs on rubber tires, and this was a steel subway. I hear a lot of rumbling, just like at the Young and Boy location, which is, which will close next month back in Toronto. All right, we're gonna take the elevator to the second floor. I probably won't spend long on the second or third floor because actually I was here on. Wednesday. So I had to get a preview, so. So here are the elevators. They used to be vintage Otis uh, elevators. They had like touch sensitive buttons. I used to be an elevator fanatic. Still am. So we're on the basement level. Like I said, this store had, well, this store has eight floors, but the seven and eight floors are closed down. And I'll explain why later on. Let's go to the second floor. And these elevators are remodded by Kone. I remember riding these elevators when they were very vintage. you would see at the bay stores. That kind of sounded weird. I'm pretty sure I just got off that elevator. Sent it to me here on this floor, so I'm gonna go up to the third floor of the escalator. There's more escalators this way, but this is also the women's section. I'm going to go up another floor. Oh wow, this is definitely worth looking at.
looks a bit quiet here, if you ask me. here oh look at that checkerboard flooring very old school here there's a window view here as well I can't see it from my point of view let's see the camera can Every base door is quiet, but definitely the furniture levels as well. kitchen appliances. Okay, there's some plays here. Marsh. Market. All right, let's go to the fifth floor. So one more floor to go after this. Photo studio here, wow. Hmm. Wonder what over there is. This floor definitely looks old school here.
with her one leg around. in here well not really I want to take a break from recording first most of the tiles here have been corroded okay guys listen to the quietness here wow there's literally no music playing So that escalator there is working. That will take you to the uh, the seventh floor. I wonder why it's uh, it's still operating. Oh, what's her? So I was just speaking to a gentleman over there who works here. Said bonjour for me, and I. Asked him why the seven floor closed, and he said, it, and he said, um, because uh, of liquidation, there was a rush run up there. Because I remember going to the seventh floor, uh, back in 2018, noticing the restaurant there. But uh, he told me that it closed in December. Well, the well, the, the floor, the restaurant closed two years ago because of the pandemic. And actually, before I came here, a viewer of my channel. You know, told me what he experienced when he came to this store, I think last week. So he actually wanted to come, he actually wanted me to come back here and, uh, and visit this. And also, I, I asked that guy over there if I could take a video walking around the store and uh, he said, sure, no problem. So here I am. But look how quiet it is, the, the feeling and I was just, like I said, I was just talking with uh, the worker, but now I hear music playing. Man, it is so quiet. And that's how most of the uh, the Hudson's Bay stores are. I feel like I'm the only shopper on this floor. These guys who work in this floor must be lucky. So yeah, unfortunately, you cannot go up to the seventh floor. Although, um, although the viewer that, uh, that uh, told me about this store, he actually told me that I could possibly still uh, access the seventh floor via the elevator. I'm not too sure about that. But, uh, you know. Or the eighth floor. I mean, Michael K, thank you for the advice. Maybe I'll, I think I'll try and uh, take the elevator up to the seventh floor, eighth floor, get a peek of it. As long as it don't go anywhere that's restricted. furniture levels pretty much of any base store but this one here particularly so let's look in west there. There's a worker talking on the phone. Wow, look at the sunlight. Look at this. I even did tell that guy that I would nap her all day because of how quiet it is. So yeah, thank you, Michael K, for the advice and for all the information, especially to including that uh, the worker that I was just speaking with. Well, 
though, if I get caught on the seventh or eighth floor, I can use an excuse saying I'm looking for the washroom, or I can say I'm not from here, which is true because I am from Ontario, so. But uh, yeah, love the quietness here. Bridges for man caves here. The Bay of Yacht and Queen used to have these up until like 2019 when the, that member space moved in. Wow. take a quick break from recording here. Wow, I love the quietness. Okay, so now I'm here on the fifth floor, not the sixth floor, because uh, there's there's too many workers out there. Kind of got nervous, so I wanted to start over and, and hop down to the fifth floor. So I'm gonna try and test my luck and and uh, see if I can take these elevators up to the uh, eighth floor. Hope I don't get caught. So uh, we'll see about that. Because the viewer told me I can still access these floors with the elevator, but we will see. And we have one. Yep, it works. Alright, so now I'm back on the first floor. So what I did was I took this viewer's advice to check out the eighth floor. Well take the elevator up to the eighth floor and yep, you can take it up there, but uh it was just like nowhere there, there's an office and then someone came in who was working and uh he wanted me to press the sixth floor because I was wanted to head back down to the first and then and then it stopped at the seventh floor and uh uh, I, t uh, I didn't step out. All I did see was uh, the floor was was empty, as it was being liquidated. So I just ended up back, ended up down here. So didn't really get it on camera. Well, I kind of did go. I kind of did going up, but uh, I decided to stop it just in case, you know, because I feel like I'm being watched, and that was the case on the sixth floor. Even though the gentleman out there said I could film, but uh, yeah. So that is the Hudson's Bay store here in Montreal. Sorry, Michael K. I really did not want to get to get caught. I kind of almost did heading up to the eighth floor and then you know, the seventh floor. And then, uh, but then, but then, then the guy told me, you know, asked me about my Raptors fan because I was wearing the hat. And yes, told him I came from Ontario and uh, and said, well, just visiting here in the Montreal Canadiens territory. So that's all that. Yeah, sorry, this is pretty awkward. And sorry, Michael K. If I can't get any footage, I'm really nervous of getting caught. I just want, just wanted to see what was up there. But didn't really, I didn't realize that the eighth floor was just it's used by employees in the seventh floor. I did see an employee there. If I went up to the seventh floor, I would have been caught. But all that being said, I'm gonna get out of here. Here's St. Catherine Street. And uh, that'll be it. Love the brass doors on this though. Mm. Opera buskers. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe. And uh, I will see you all in the next one.
Peace out.